this is video, this is simply fishing and watch our videos all of them and all of them see you on the next one
you almost slapped me in the face. Welcome back. Well, as you saw last night in the video, we went out, did a little fishing at nighttime, took Tommy with us, had a good time out there on the water. Wind was blowing like crazy, current was moving fast, but it was a beautiful evening out. One of the fish we caught was this trout. Nice little trout. Not real big, but these are really, really good eating. So what we're gonna do, do a quick cleaning on it. The way I like to do this, I usually use just the back of my knife. It's got these really fine scales on this fish. So the back of the knife works really good, especially if you're using something like a nice little Danko here. Once again, Danko, if you're out there, love these knives, love the company. I'm open for sponsorships. But just want to work through, take these scales off. I say, as you can see, these aren't like the bluegill scales; they come off a little bit easier. matter of cleaning them up and you'll feel it once I get to a certain point it just gets I mean it is smooth 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 running that knife across no ridges no bumps I'll show you that I always get in between the fins kind of get the whole area so you can leave them whole and gut them slice them Let me go around the other side. I actually like to fillet them so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna come in right on the back side like normal so I'm gonna start right here at the fin just to make it easy that point get it down in there so I'll slide it down you can see it's a delicate fish and we'll come back take it all the way up and you'll feel it when you get near that head kind of hit you feel where that meat stops right behind the fin right down to these fins just slice through and this is small fish, tiny bones. A lot of times on the fish like this, it's easier just to cut through everything. Like that. That fish is translucent almost. Now we've got little bones right here. So all we're gonna do is you can see the belly liner right there and those rib cages right here i'm just gonna take my knife and try and get in there that's where it's a really sharp really thin knife works great i'm not going to try and peel them out because it's really thin they're eating a lot of meat there i'm just going to cut it out i cut that out and discard those little ribs these i want to leave the skin on they have a nice skin to cook with and i'm just filling around in here i want to make sure there's a line right here I'll feel down through there for any pin bones that might be left that I missed. A couple right there I felt with my finger. So I'm just going to pull those out. Fill down through there. Feels nice, feels clean. A nice cl clean fillet. Really, really good meat. Really nice meat. Skin is really nice and flavorful on these. If you ever had it in a restaurant or anything else, very good fish. So we're going to do this. We're going to knock the side off the other fish just take this side off and we'll see you in the kitchen all right we are back we have a very tired boy here today so daddy's gonna hold him while we do this video I'm actually gonna turn my heat down a little bit on my pan here in my pan I got olive oil and butter butter starting to get a little brown on me which is not a bad thing it's pretty good I got these two pieces of trout right here lay down on our board skin side up we're gonna start with the skin just regular old table salt, a generous amount on the skin side. Black pepper. Like I say, go on the skin side, you won't be generous on this. And then just a nice lemon pepper seasoning. On the lemon pepper, it's very coarse. All right, I'm gonna flip them over now. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Not as generous though, just a little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. 
And just a little bit of lemon pepper. All right, so now in our pan, that pan is really hot, so that's the way we want it. I'm gonna turn that heat back down some more. This is lemongrass. And then we also got some Italian herbs. We're gonna simply squeeze them out. I'm gonna squeeze them into the side of the pan because that's where my oil and butter is rolled to. What that's gonna do is just add an extra layer of flavor to it. Tommy, please stop. And that's that Italian herbs. I'm going to bring those in. I'm going to stir that in with olive oil and butter. Got a nice sizzle going on. I'm going to lay these skin side down right in the middle of all that flavor. And you want them to kind of shrink up real quick. They will not take these long. They're small. They got a high heat going. here to put them all. A little plate right there. Right. Now, I want to do is gently flip them. Roll them over. Nice time we use a fork. Just kind of give them a roll. Come on, let's kind of put them around that olive oil and butter. Put them baste into that. Just have to get the side of my pan. We're going to let them finish off just like that. And this trial is a very flaky, light meat. You can see, you see it's getting white, it's wanting to flake apart. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my heat all the way off. Because we're at the point now, there's enough heat in this cast iron that we can't heat, they're going to be done. While that's finishing up, nice little Meyer lemon. I'm going to roll in it. Get out my knife. All right, Carl, you ready to cut a lemon? Get that cut. Now for these, we don't need the whole lemon, so we're just going to use half of it, the other half we'll put in the fridge. What we want to do is give them a nice little squeeze. Now it'll help accentuate that. The zest in the lemon pepper, the butter, and Mommy. everything we put on them. So we're going to roll them one more time. Just check them. Everything looks good there. Mm -hmm. Lift them out. One there. One there. We're going to let them cool off for a minute. When they're done, we'll taste test them. See you at the table. All right, we're back at the table. I got the trout has cooled off just a little bit. It's on the little plate here. We're gonna turn the camera around and see them all gonna try a piece. Once again, you hear Carl is still a little fussy. It was a late night fishing. He was with the babysitter, but it threw his schedule off. So, but you know what? That's life. And here we go. Start with the skin. Tommy, tell me what you think about the trout. You want a piece of skin with the fish on it? I personally would have gone with the main meat first. You want the meat now? Now he's gonna try a piece of the big meat. Mm -hmm. One piece. All right, we'll come around to mm -hmm. Carl. When they say because it's hot, we're letting mm -hmm. him. Mama help him out a little bit. And like I say, that's our time. At your boy. Do you want a piece here. or no? No. Okay, I'll eat it. All right. Mm. And mm. before I could get the camera around, that piece was gone. That is so flaky. Mmm. I'm gonna try skin. Hold on. Tommy, how was the skin? Good. Yeah? They're both good. They're both good? Ooh! There's a lot of flavor on that skin. No wonder you put so much seasoning. That was really good. You want more? Or you want some? Carl, oh, you want the whole plate. Carl wants the whole plate, apparently. Is that what you want? That's it, now his meal. You gonna try it? Alright, Carl, you wanna take a bite? Are you showing them? Alright, you want Daddy to feed you a bite? I got it. Oh, show them the plate. There you go. That is the trout. Carl showed you the plate. Carl, you gonna take a bite? All Carl, right. What do you think, Carl? Carl, good. Is it good? Yeah. Oh. Hello. See you on the next one of Simply Fishy.
Stay beautiful, stay safe, most all, swipe, subscribe, and share. See you on the next one.